This is my Chinese generic Carmen Ghia rear disc brake setup. And uh, although these calipers might be made to resemble the front calipers on the Carmen Ghia, I'm going to deduce that they actually changed the bleeder channels. I had absolutely no problems whatsoever getting these to bleed at all. And people say, well, you got to mount them at a 45 degree angle. Well, with the flat steel mounting plates, you can't do that. You can either be here or here or here or here. There's no 45 degree angle. So, if this was all the way to the back, you'd have one bleeder port on top and one on bottom. That's not going to bleed. Common sense tells us that the bleeder port should be the highest thing on the damn caliper to work. And another reason I'm going to deduce that these were made this way is because they advertise no hardware necessary. The only place you can get that hard steel line is on top. You might gerrymander it around and get it to the front, but it's not going to stretch to the back. It sure as hell ain't going to go to the bottom. So anyways, this track has been sitting overnight. I have not been on it. I haven't pumped the brakes or anything. So here we go. We'll see what kind of pedal travel I got. That's pretty damn good. I mean, that's, you know, about an inch, and I got brakes. And they work just fine. They don't pull one way. They don't pull the other. And I just bled them using the tried and true mason jar method. I've used that for everything. And uh, once the air bubble got popped out of them, they just bled like nothing. And it didn't take very much time.